All right, 97.7 Outlaw Radio FM listeners, you already know what time it is. And right here, right now, we got Detroit, Michigan's own. We got the one and only, the Davis Way, right here, live on the line. How are you doing this evening? I'm doing good. How about you? Oh, man, doing best I could possibly be down here in Canada, man. I hope everything's all well out there in Michigan, man. I'm noticing that uh, the world is finally getting back to normal, man, so it definitely is a positive. Oh, yeah. But I know you're a busy guy, Davis, so I'm going to dive right into this right into this interview. But I want to take you back to the beginning of your amazing career this far. And I have to ask, first and foremost, what originally inspired you just, just to pursue a career within the music industry initially? Um, I guess it became a part where what I was hearing on the radio wasn't like how I was really used to hearing it as far as you would hear a song and it will stick with you. And then I got to the point to say, you know what? Let me try myself to start producing my own music and getting artists that I will want to hear on songs on the radio. And I got to say as well, man, that's definitely a phenomenal, phenomenal way of doing it, man. Sometimes you just got to go out there and do it yourself, man, because at the end of the day, the some of these radio stations are going to start are going to get a lot worse before they even before they even get close to being better. Right. But also as well, man, October 4th of 2017, you actually released the 11 track project titled The Black Sapphire. I was wondering if you can actually tell us a bit more about this uh, earlier release project. And of course, is it still available to be streamed or purchased today? Um, yes, it's still available, but um, that soundtrack, well, that project was basically for me like a soundtrack of my adolescent years. So each song was like uh, basically a, a theme for me in my late teens, maybe early 20s. And I gotta say, and it was more for. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh no, it's it's, it's all good. I was gonna say that's a definitely a phenomenal project, man. But definitely, go ahead, man. My apologies. Oh, and it was more so just as far as like a reflective piece. And like I was saying, man, that project is definitely phenomenal, man. You know, I, I gotta say, I, when I was listening to it, it did definitely feel like like a soundtrack, on, in my personal opinion as well, man. But one of the songs that I've really enjoyed was Watching the Flames Dance, man. Definitely my favorite joint off that project. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. And also, of, of course, man, you are the CEO and owner of Architect Entertainment. I was wondering, what originally made you decide to start up start up this company, and of course, what services do you actually offer to, to the music industry uh, today? Um, the reason I started Architect, because there wasn't a lot of um, labels out that was really educating artists on the music business. Um, the services we currently do is obviously educate the artists on the collect all the various royalties as well as educate them on how to invest their royalties into the stock market, whether it's a long-term um, stock, short-term stock, or a dividend. And I got to say as well, man, those are definitely some great things to teach these young artists, man, because nowadays with the Internet, anybody can really be an artist, but when it comes to the business aspect of it, you really got to learn it, and a lot of these individuals need to be taught that. Right. And also as well, man, I, actually, I read that you actually began sharpening your skills in the Michigan Beat Battle League. I was wondering if you can actually tell our listeners a bit more about that league. And of course, what was it like just competing alongside other Michigan beat makers? Oh, wow. Okay. Um, when I started in the league, I obviously started older because at the time I started really taking uh, production series. I was 35. And most of the producers I was going up against was, like, in their early 20s. Um, it was, like I say, created by um, Uncle P. Shout out to Uncle P. And it, it helped me diversify my production. Because a lot of times, you know, with a traditional beat, you'll get enough for an uh, MC to have 16 bars, a hook, possibly an intro, an outro per song. But with the league, it helped me put so many elements within one minute. 
and that sometimes, like say now, I use that um, sequence in my production. And I have to ask as well, man. Are you are you do you still compete in the in, in the Michigan Beat Battle League, or is that just something of your past? Um. Well, they, let's see. They haven't had an actual Michigan Beat Battle League Beat Battle since 2019, but I do participate in uh, Beat Battles. I'm, I'm guessing COVID-19 probably shut that down for a little while, eh? Yeah, yeah. I gotta say, COVID definitely took put a damper on a lot of things, man, but hopefully they actually bring that back, man, because that was definitely a phenomenal league just to have for fellow producers like yourself. Yeah. And also as well, man, you were actually nominated for Outstanding uh, Rap Producer by the Detroit Music Awards. I was wondering if you can actually tell our listeners a bit more about that nomination. And of course, how did it feel actually getting recognized by the city of Michigan? Um, It was, it was a great feeling. Um, I was nominated based off my album I did, um, Visionary. And with Visionary, it was featuring numerous Detroit artists, um, Super MC, Finale, Mr. Furious, Leif Erickson, and to to reach that level so early in my career, it, it was a great feeling. And I got to say as well, man, it de- definitely is because I, I, from my understanding, the, the, the just the Mi- Detroit Music Awards, man, is such a prestigious. So it's such a prestigious award ceremony that should get recognized by as well, man. So hopefully next year you definitely take it and actually instead of a nomination, you get a win. Well, actually, this year I did win for um, uh, classic composition for this project um, I did for my wife's novel. I did the soundtrack, and it was all classical composition called The Soul Within. And also as well, man, you also had the opportunity to perform a beat set at uh, Dillatroit uh, 5. I was wondering, how did that opportunity arise for you? And of course, what was it like just performing at the prestigious festival in honor of the late great Jay Dilla? Um, actually, it wasn't intentional, which was funny. I um, showed up to show support, obviously, as a producer. And one of the producers couldn't make it. And the individual that was hosting the producer said and they asked me, um, Davis, do you have uh, any beats on you? And I have my flash drive with me normally every time I leave out the house. So I was able, like I say, had pulled up maybe 12 minutes, 12 to 15 minutes worth of beats. And, and it really opened up a lot of doors for me at that time, too. And I got to say as well, man, definitely, definitely was probably a surreal experience, man, because I'm pretty sure you definitely grew up I like idolizing uh, the one and only Jay Dilla, man, because he was one, he is my personal opinion one of the, one of the best producers to ever grace Detroit hip hop. Yes, definitely, man. And also as well, man, October 31st of 2021, you actually released my personal favorite album by you, the 8-track album titled Detroit Monster. I was wondering if you can actually tell our listeners the story and inspiration behind this project. And of course, where can we actually buy or stream ourselves a copy of it today? Um, well, first you can stream it on all um, digital platforms, Apple Music, um, Spotify, Tidal, even SoundCloud and YouTube. Um, the, the, uh, the purpose of the project, initially I was going to have different artists, uh, miraculously be on it, but then I thought about it and I wanted it to be more cinematic hip hop, the way I, I like to coin the term. And I wanted to have a darker theme compared to any previous project I had. And that's why I titled it Detroit Monster and had it come out on, um, Halloween itself. And I got to say as well, definitely a great project, man. Do you think in the in the future you actually might uh, you might actually make like a, a Detroit Monster Part Two, or is, or is that just not something you're really interested in doing? Um, I've actually been thinking about it. I was thinking as far as like to say with the work I have with Architect coming up this year, I may have one come out uh, possibly next year. 
And also as well, while we're actually on the topic of albums and whatnot, May 18th of 2022, you actually released the 13-track compilation album titled Way of the Davis. I was wondering if you can actually tell our listeners a bit more about this uh, most recently released project. And of course, do you actually have any hard copies available of it to be purchased today? Um, yes, I do have um, cassette tapes of the project. It's available on architect uh, dash ent dot com. Um, the purpose of this project was more so to insert certain beats I did in the early part of my career, um, insert fan favorites, as well as certain beat battle beats that I've used over the years, all within one project. And I got to say as well, in my personal opinion, it definitely is a very well put together project. So I definitely encourage everybody that is listening, make sure you head on over to that website and snag yourselves a hard copy today. Get them while they're hot. Yeah, because it's a um, limited run. We probably have maybe 30 copies left. But I have to ask, what is next for yourself, the Davis Way? Is there anything we happen to miss during tonight's broadcast? Anything else you do still want to talk about or promote? Well, we still got you here live on 97.7 FM this evening. Yes. Um, in mid-August, me and fellow architect producer Grime One has a joint instrumental project coming out titled One Way. Um, the following month, we will have vinyls for that project. Um, also, on November 12th, I will be releasing an album with features titled Monumental. Um, the theme with this album will be various MCs that never worked with each other on each song. So you might have two artists that never worked with each other or three artists that never worked with each other all on one song. And I, I gotta, I gotta ask as well, because I do know like this album is currently in the works, and you know you guys are putting it together. But the one thing I have to ask, man, is there actually a song that you guys already have thought out that you guys are gonna do? Like, do you know what artists are gonna be put together on on, on certain songs? Oh yes, the, um, actually, the album is um, completed. I just have to send it to the distributors. Uh, one of the songs that's going to be on the album I released um, in 2020, no, 2021, no, it was the end of 2020, excuse me, I'm Impeccable, with Super MC, P-Dot, and Pierre Anthony. And also as well, this is the time of the interview quickly, Davis, that I give a chance for the individual that does slide into the radio station airwaves. It's a chance to give like shoutouts to whomever they want to give shoutouts to, but most of all, your social media handles. That way our listeners can follow you and stay updated on everything the Davis way if they're not already doing so. Um, well, firstly, I want to give a shout out to my wife, co-owner of Architect Entertainment. Um, and you can find me on Instagram at the underscore Davis underscore way and on Twitter at T Davis way and on Facebook, the Davis way. And I got to say, first and foremost, thank you so much for just giving us a bit of your time here this evening and sliding into the 97.7 FM airwaves. It definitely was an honor and most definitely a privilege to have Detroit's finest on the, on the Canadian FM dial this evening, man. Hopefully down the line we can make this happen again sometime soon. Oh, definitely will. I appreciate the opportunity. I appreciate you as well, man. Definitely have yourself a wonderful night and a great weekend out, out there in Michigan. Thank you.